This is a 2016 Ford Explorer and Ford must be going about 10,000 miles now on their oil changes because I show about 3,000 miles on it and I've got about 30% of my oil life used up. So I'm looking like it's going to be about 10,000 miles before the first oil change is due. I don't feel comfortable going that far probably fine but i just don't feel comfortable on the first one when i first got the truck i was a little bit concerned because these hung so low but i did realize now that this is kind of a more rigid plastic but it's flexible and these are actually kind of a real pliable rubber so i thought right off the bat if i hit a curb those will snap off but um, they won't so good design there ford um, and then it looks like there's a hole cut out here for an air duct which is this duct here which runs all the way underneath there and at first I thought, oh, that's a piece of metal, part of the engine cradle, but obviously you don't want to jack on that because this is really just a rigid plastic and it'll crush it. So I put my jack there on the front of the engine cradle, and I'll show you how to take this duct work off so you can get to the oil drain plug. But the oil filter is real simple. It's right there, up underneath in the front there, easy to get to, and I'll show you the rest of it. Looks like Ford has made this so it's uh, easily removed up underneath here. I'm not sure what this duct's for. It must maybe cool the exhaust or something, but you've got a little twister here. Twists. And I'll even show you there's directions there. It says on and off. I guess I'll take this one off first. Actually, I don't want it hanging by this clip. never wants to come out and these feel like they're aluminum but obviously you want to be careful with them and there's that and it looks just like just an air duct to just kind of blow air up on the exhaust to keep the exhaust pipes cool and the floor cool. Um, there's your oil filter and very easy to get to oil drain plug. All right, I'll pull the drain plug out. And in case you're wondering, this is a 15 millimeter wrench. Like they put a rubber, sounds like they put a rubber seal on there. Now I just drove home, the oil's really hot, so I'm gonna really be careful not to get my finger in there. And already the oil looks relatively dark, but. It's not too terribly bad, but I don't, <laughs> I can't believe after 10,000 miles it wouldn't look like tar. Uh, one thing is kind of funny while I was underneath here looking around, I noticed there is a rubber band on this motor mount so I guess I can say <laughs> there's a rubber band holding my engine in <laughs> that looks like it's just holding this uh, dust shield up against the uh, mount but still kind of funny they used a rubber band instead of a wire tie I might change that at some point or it's probably just gonna rot and fall off 
One thing I do like about the design is that I can, with this size oil pan, which is just a normal one you get like at Walmart, you can leave the drain plug out and leave it draining and still give yourself plenty of room to get the oil filter off so that it can also drain into the same pan. Uh, so that's kind of handy. And that's the factory one, so it looks like I'm going to have to use a wrench to get it off of there. Well, looks like a regular oil filter wrench is uh, too big for that filter. I'll have to try see if I have another one. Well, I couldn't find an oil filter small enough, so I have this one that I use for my ATV and motorcycles. And so this one's kind of handy, and I have no idea where I got it from, but probably online at Amazon or something. But anyways, as you turn it, it spreads out, but as you turn it, it squeezes a filter. So I'm going to go ahead and try that one. That should work. Now, I oil filter they recommend is a FL500S's and Sam, and but this filter looks like it's not quite as tall. I got the filter at Walmart. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, it is just a hair shorter, not much. But also, you always want to make sure. You want to put old oil in my new filter. Just make sure the gaskets line up. And it looks like the correct filter. This gasket, though, is a nice round gasket. The one that threw forward is all lumpy and square on there, but anyways. And also, which when I touch them together, that puts a nice little seal of oil on there. But you want to make sure you do that. And it doesn't hurt to wipe this off so does it collect dirt around there for your next oil change and I got a nice little shiny of oil around there And it should spin real easy or you're cross-threading it. And I like to go probably about a half turn. So the next time I don't have to use a wrench to get that off of there. And we'll put the plug back in. It's still kind of dripping, but it's pretty much drained out of there. Again, this has got a rubber seal on it, so you don't have to get carried away. Should hold it.
lock on them. And obviously you want to make sure you have it back on level ground but uh, according to the manual this is supposed to take six quarts so I got two five quart containers and I'll put six quarts of oil in it run it for a minute check it double check it and then uh, should be good if I wasn't doing this uh, one-handed I probably wouldn't use this funnel but and uh, this is a company car, so I'm doing this on my own dime, but um, this happened to be on sale, but it's 100% synthetic. And so it was on sale for $17 at Walmart, so that's what I got. Now, since you have to use two containers, this has a little thing on there. And rather than keep trying to pour in and keep checking, I'm going to cheat a little. I'm just going to uh, measure this down to four quarts, or the four quart marks. This is five quarts up here. So I'm just going to pour this into that old one I just drained until this is right at there. And then I can just dump that in there. And I have to keep checking and dripping oil all over. And I poured that in there. Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's right there at the four quart. So I'm going to take this one and dump it in there. Of course, it does have a quart. And yes, I knocked it over and filled it up, and it went all over my engine. And that's it. Let it drain down there a little bit. I'll just double check it before I start it. And obviously this is where you pull your dipstick out to check it. And I'll start it, let it run for a minute, shut it off, let it sit a couple minutes, and I'll check it again. But I do say after 3,000 miles, um, it didn't use any oil. I checked it when I first got it. It was right on the full line. After 3,000 miles, it's still right on the full line. So One thing to note is I thought this was a plastic cover. It's actually just a piece of rubbery foam that uh, it's like an engine noise suppressor for the motor. But and one thing I like to do is you can get these little rare earth magnets at Lowe's or Home Depot, anyways. And just for the heck of it, I always stick one on my oil filter. That way, it'll kind of metal particles or little shavings, whatever, get in there. It'll uh, attract it and it'll keep it from recirculating through the oil. I like to cut my oil filters apart, so I got this little tool. I think I got it on Amazon a few years ago, but anyways, you just stick your oil filter in there and adjust your vise so your catches oil and it comes out. It's a little slippery. It's clean in there. There's no 
sludge or actually there is a metal particle a couple of them in there nope no metal particles that was an air bubble and this is good too you can see what your good filters and what aren't and I used to use Fram oil filters all the time, but I noticed on my other car, I took when I bought this, I cut it apart, and instead of being metal glued in there, whether it matters or not, these are made out of cardboard, and they're just glued on there, so I quit using Fram filters, but... This does have some gunky junk, almost looks like glue but it's on the outside of the filter so but anyways that's it i didn't see any metal particles or big chunks but at least i know <laughs> it'll have a uh, clean oil in there fairly clean for the next 7500 miles till it says 100 and i can take it in there and change it at ford um, through my company thanks bye